What if I told you the US Navy has a secret weapon that costs nearly half a billion dollars, capable of transforming the open ocean into a fully functional battlefield supply line? Enter the Het Expeditionary Transfer Dock, a colossal $500 million floating war base designed to support entire military operations without the need for traditional ports. These ships play a critical role in rapid troop and equipment deployment, acting as a mobile transfer hub for everything from heavy vehicles to crucial supplies. In this video, we'll take you aboard to reveal how these vessels operate, their cutting-edge technology and their vital importance in modern warfare. The Expeditionary Transfer Dock, formerly known as the Mobile Landing Platform, MLP, is a critical asset to the US Navy's fleet. The ship, a floating base for transferring vehicles, equipment and supplies from sea to shore in areas without functioning ports. So we're aboard the USNS Montford Point. This ship uh, brings a brand new capability we've never had before. Uh, so when we establish uh, a sea base, we can move cargo from ships that ca carry tanks and AAVs and heavy equipment and MREs and supplies. And we can move those from out at sea to shore via this ship when we bring LCACs onto the ship. This is a game changer for military operations particularly in contested or disaster-stricken regions where infrastructure has been destroyed or doesn't exist. First launched in 2013, the ESD is part of a broader strategy to enhance the Navy's ability to project power and provide humanitarian assistance anywhere on the globe. So. How does the Expeditionary Transfer Dock actually work? Picture this. You have massive cargo ships packed with military hardware, tanks, trucks, helicopters, but no port to offload them. The ESD comes into play by acting as a mobile port. This ship can partially submerge itself, creating a stable platform at sea. Using its expansive deck, it acts as a transfer station where landing craft like the landing craft Air Cushion, El Sassi, or smaller vessels can load cargo and deliver it straight to shore. But that's not all. The ESD also supports roll-on slash roll-off operation, meaning vehicles can drive directly from larger ships onto the deck of the ESD. From there, they're transferred onto landing crafts for deployment ashore. The flexibility of this system allows the Navy to rapidly mobilize and deploy troops and equipment uh, in any coastal environment bypassing the need for a large port facility. Imagine the complexity of moving an army. We discuss the thousands of personnel, heavy machinery, ammunition, food and medical supplies. In conventional operations, ports are critical points of entry. But what if the ports are heavily defended or simply don't exist? That's where the expeditionary transfer dock becomes essential. The ability to deploy forces without a traditional port changes the strategic landscape entirely. During a crisis or military operation, speed is everything. The longer it takes to establish a supply chain, the more vulnerable your forces become. In a wartime scenario, the expeditionary transfer dock can rapidly deploy a ground force, mitigating the risk of bottlenecks that traditionally occur at ports. Moreover, it reduces the logistical burden, offering a solution that ensures continuity of operations, 
even in the most challenging environments. The US Navy has already employed the Expeditionary Transfer Dock in various scenarios, from military exercises to humanitarian missions. In 2015, for example, during Exercise Pacific Horizon, the ESD enabled a seamless transfer of vehicles and supplies from sea to shore in an operation that simulated the defense of an island with no port facilities. This exercise proved that the ESD is not just theoretical, it's a highly functional, real-world asset that can operate effectively in diverse environments. Additionally, it has been used to deliver humanitarian aid in disaster zones, where port facilities have been destroyed, highlighting its versatility. Each expeditionary transfer dock costs approximately $500 million to build. A substantial investment, but one that brings enormous strategic value. Looking ahead, the US Navy continues to innovate with plans to integrate more advanced technologies into the ESD platform, improving its speed, capacity, and adaptability. As the nature of warfare and global challenges evolve, the ability to project power quickly and efficiently will remain crucial, making the ESD an indispensable part of the Navy's future fleet. The Expeditionary Transfer Dock is a testament to the ingenuity of military engineering and strategic foresight. By enabling the rapid deployment of forces without the need for a port, it offers unparalleled flexibility in both combat and humanitarian missions. As global conflicts and natural disasters continue to pose challenges, the importance of platform platforms like the ESD cannot be overstated. So, the next time you hear about military deployments or humanitarian aid being delivered, remember the unsung hero of the sea, the Expeditionary Transfer Dock. If you found this exploration of naval logistics fascinating, be sure to subscribe to Aviation and Nautical Masters for more in-depth looks at maritime innovations and naval strategies. And don't forget to leave a comment on what you think the future holds for military mobility.